Hey guys, it's Albethium. I am here with another very important guide for Sifu. Now, I made a guide for you guys that you appreciated a lot and it was based mostly on combat and avoiding and dodging and how all of that works. But this is quite honestly just as important and this is going to be your shrine upgrades. What do you want to upgrade, what you need to upgrade uh, to carry you throughout the entire game? Now, as you can see this, uh, this is the very last shrine in the game, and you can tell here, age 20, no deaths, and I did end up going to the final boss and beating him without dying as well. So, this is a very powerful build that has carried me through the entire, entire game, and I'm going to discuss this with you, what you should be upgrading. Now, first things first, uh, a lot of people... You know, they want to pretend like they're experts and everything, and Sifu ended up being a game that has instigated a lot of <laughs> dick measuring amongst everyone. And you need to be careful about who is actually competent in giving you a very solid foundation to build on, and who is just being a loudmouth but is actually on your skill level. And uh, there's no, nothing wrong with being at a lower skill level, because with practice, you are going to improve. No one started this game knowing how to play it immediately, being a <laughs> Bruce Lee of Sifu, the game. You are going to have to practice, and you will get there. So, with that being said, the best way to distinguish between uh, who is actually giving you solid advice and who is pretty much going to throw you under the bus with their very faulty advice is people who are going to tell you upgrade the focus. No. Maybe some people can make it work, but in general you shouldn't be relying on the focus because you are going to have this crutch that you are going to be leaning against through the entire game and then you reach the final boss and you can't use focus attacks on him. Yeah, you heard me right. You cannot use focus attacks against the final boss. So, you have pretty much done a very big disservice to yourself and uh, compromised your entire playthrough, entire effort that you put in because you have got used to one way of playing through the entire game and now you're at the very final boss and you now need to reinvent your entire approach to the game. That is awful. Now, we're going to discuss this. First things first... You can tell here that I have upgrade, upgraded, sorry about that, upgraded my structure reserve to the very maximum. I have also upgraded the structure gain on avoids to the maximum. Structure on impact to the enemies when you perform blocks. This is absolutely crucial to have. And here, the weapon proficiency, how much damage you're going to be dealing to the enemy's HP, but most importantly to the enemy structure. Structure is the most important thing in the entire game. Do not focus on just how much HP an enemy has, because if you fill up their structure meter, that's that. Lights out for the boss or enemy, whoever else. Structure is the most important. So, I strongly recommend that you focus your... Uh, playthrough, obviously you're going to be doing a lot of avoiding, but try to block as well, because this way you are going to reach the final boss very much prepared to handle him. Not just handle him, but humiliate him almost. And I'm going to tell you when I upgraded what. Okay, so when I was going into the first boss, uh, I think I had like two points here in the structure you know, on impact, and I think I had weapon proficiency. But this, you shouldn't really follow my example. This is something that you should be uh, adjusting to your own play style, how you want to approach each boss, how much you can get out of each stage. Uh, I did get the final point here, and uh, I think it was right before the fourth boss. There's like a little shrine. You have to make sure that you have this maxed out. This is all I'm going to tell you. Make sure you have this maxed out before you enter the final uh, level, the sanctuary. Because I don't think it's possible to reach the requirement. Maybe it is. I, I'm kind of pretty certain 
that it isn't but i could be wrong so guys this is the way you should be doing like here a point in the weapon durability is very nice to couple with this and it's gonna work in unison very very nice in this this is like i said the last shrine in the game and i pretty much ended up point, uh, putting a point another point here and uh I attacked the final boss using one of the weapons, like a stick, uh, in front, but uh, because I talked about structure so much and uh, you know the weapon proficiency and how you deal damage to the structure, and this is very crucial, bladed weapons are going to be using uh, more of a HP focused uh, damage than structure. Bat? Bat is the pretty much the best weapon you can be using in the game. It deals massive massive structure damage and like i said once you fill out the boss's structure meter structure meter that is it lights out for the boss so guys i hope this has been very very helpful to you um, it certainly did its job for me very amazing foundation to build your playthrough on and uh, this little bit here because you focus all of your playthrough around structure uh, you will be getting focus gain regardless and uh, one bar of focus is absolutely enough but gaining structure on successful avoids this is also going to be crucial so everything is structure based and it's just going to work amazing and not just that it's going to make you a better player you won't be using a noobish method you know a crutch to get to the final boss and then you're going to be left defenseless you won't be able to deal with him because your very uh, main means of what carried you through the game are suddenly no longer going to work that's that guys you can take my word for it beaten the game without deaths got the platinum i think i'm a pretty credible source for you guys because i genuinely want to help everyone and uh, if this ends up helping you like I say, at pretty much every end of my video, guys, please, if you can find it in your heart to help me as well. I am so close, so close to that magical 1000 subscribers that I uh, thought I would never reach. And if you can find it in your heart to help me out, I would appreciate it very much. If not, I still hope this helps you a lot. I am here for you guys. That's Albatium. See you in the next one, guys.